you recently were having a conversation with Gene Smith from uh, Mecha Normal about like politics and art and music. Yeah. And you mentioned that like in the past, like being on Kill Rock Stars especially, which is um, which is known for like the Riot Girl yeah. movement and music, right. and a lot of times you said people would criticize you for not being like political enough mm -hmm. or like feminist enough or radical right. enough yeah. in your lyrics. Um, do you want to talk about that and sure. just how your relationship with feminism and your art and just sort of those experiences right. and stuff? Um, yeah, well, my band Bangs was on Kill Rock Stars for the three records we put out, which was awesome. Uh, great experience and but yeah Kill Rockstars is an amazing label and totally groundbreaking with the things they put out in the early 90s you know Bratmobile, Bikini Kill, Heavens to Betsy, um, Huggy Bear, all that stuff that was just I mean it was really a lot of huge. it was really well it's huge but a lot of it was like really politically yeah. charged and extremely feminist and um, you know very vocal about that and so uh, where I come from my take on being in a band is that I, I I just with feminism I'm not really an ideal an ide ideologue or much of an academic I have to say like I feel like the way I live my life is what makes me a feminist and just that you know I believe in respect and uh, value of women and of any other gender or out, people outside of gender or in between gender it's just you know I think to me that's what being a feminist is all about is just. I believe in respect and equal rights for women. Um, so I was kind of just in this loud rock and roll band that was, a lot of our songs were just about, you know, having fun. You know, I kind of was very inspired by bands more like, um, oh, I don't know, like I got super into the Stooges. And so I was just into like, you know, kind of mm -hmm. dirgy rock and roll, punk rock. And um, although there were songs that I wrote that were definitely about, you know, frustrations of, you know, getting catcalled on the street or whatever. Not very many of the songs I wrote lyrically were overtly feminist. And I, I don't, I, won't, I wouldn't say I got criticized a lot or anything, but a couple, you know, a couple times in reviews, it kind of hurt my feelings that mm -hmm. it seemed like if you were a woman and if you're a woman on a label like Kill Rock Stars, that there was this only one box that you fit into, which was the Riot Girl box. And it just reminded me of, any other experience of being a woman and being put into a box. So mm -hmm. it was frustrating. Totally. You know, I'd be like, let's see, I taught myself how to play electric guitar. I front a loud rock band. I tour, you know, I make art for the albums. I play shows in random places to like two people and then drive all night. Um, you know, and, you know, I quit my job to like go on tour. I just, to me, like that's what's feminist about about me being in a band. And I don't need anything else. I, for me, I don't need to kind of um, put like an academic or an idea, or, or have like an, be more of an ideologue, like I was saying in my lyrics. Um, I just think my living, the example, I, I've taught guitar to young girls, and it's just like all these things. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't understand what is not feminist about this band, except that my lyrics are maybe not, you know, strictly focused on that. So to me, it just seemed, it just seemed like another odd, odd uh, take on being a woman in music that they're, you yeah, know, totally. you either have to be Lilith Fair or you have to be Riot Girl. Or